welcome students in my new tutorial based upon series of adobe photoshop and today i'll be teaching you about brush tool so first of all i should make one new file so i'll click on create new that you all the steps you know and in my recent only you will find 7 by 5 custom because it's custom because uh, i have done the changes here 75 resolution and uh, transparent then i'll click on create so all these steps i have already told you then control plus just to make my canvas little bigger and uh, this tools i have told you last time i have covered these tools only i told you that red eye tool i'll teach afterwards so now the next tool i'll be teaching you about brush tool so firstly uh, the b is the shortcut only b if you want to select the tool so i'll just select the tool and then you know very well if you click on caps lock key the kind of a tool is been selected so that will be shown on the screen so in the option bar on the top here the different options of this tool brush tool so i'll click it here uh, yes uh, where it is written 112 this is the size actually the different type of tools are there so suppose uh, the different categories are also there general dry media brushes wet media brushes special effect brushes so i'll just select default one suppose this one i am selecting this is the size option from here you can control the size of the brush tool that means the brush tip and this is the hardness so firstly i'll just try this one and with bracket you can increase the size so suppose uh, from the keyboard angle brackets i'll just uh, press one of the angle bracket if i click on left angle bracket my tool becomes smaller that means a brush tip and if i click on right side it increases in size so now if i click you could see it's giving the stroke of the brush and it depends upon the color foreground color actually this is foreground color and this white color what you are seeing this is the default background color so if i select any color from here so from here suppose i have selected the red color and now if i go with the brush stroke you could see i can easily give a stroke here and from here again i can select different uh, options like size i already told you suppose i increase the size and this hardness is 100% now if i will decrease suppose i'll make it to 0% now see the difference now see the difference now there is a great difference between both it is having hard edges and this is not having hard edges it is having the soft edges okay i hope these both the options are very much clear now i want that you should know the different kind of brushes what we can use so you can click on general brushes and then from here you could see like soft pressure opacity so suppose i click on this one and now i'll just see so by default it is soft it is having soft edges okay i'll change the color here it's also having hard round pressure opacity uh, different different styles are there or different brushes are there you can select from here and further adjustments you can do from hardness and size then along with this there is dry media brushes you can click it here now see here uh, like this option i want to select suppose this one i'll click on, on option bar and then now if i want to use it you could see here it's like this see it's here it's like this it means i different brushes are there and according to the need you can select it suppose this one size is too big i'll just click on the top and then now just see it's sprinkling the color okay it's sprinkling the color you could just see to it so you can just try all plenty are there 
then wet media brushes special effects suppose i am trying this one you could see here light brushes light color okay very light it's uh, putting the color with very less opacity uh this style i'll just change the color see like this but i'll make it clear by taking the new layer i'll just off it it's giving the impression of dots so you are free to use any brushes from here wet media brushes special effect brushes okay this i have already used and then legacy brushes so these students sometimes you will not be able to see legacy brushes this option so if this option is not available nice amount of brushes are available here if i'll show you you see here plenty of brushes are there different strokes are there and see air brushes are there even grass brushes are there i just like that most this then leaves this i'll show you wait i'll take the new layer and now i'll select one of the brushes from here so if you are not able to see this legacy brushes what you could do you can just click here on the top here and here you will see this legacy brushes so you have to click upon this option okay so once you click this restore the legacy brushes set to the list of brushes preset so already have done it so i'll not do it if in your case if it's not visible you can click on okay so here i'll show you some nice brushes what i was trying to show you so this is uh, dune grass i like this and just see if i'll just see the grass now actually it takes the color from the background also so i'll just change the background color from here i'll just click it make it to a little yellowish grass and now if i'll do it you could see it will mix up the colors so nice brush okay and along with it one more i like the most here uh, this grass is also good one 134 just use this one just say so this one is also good and then this scattered maple leaves so if you are making a tree so that i'll be teaching you afterwards you can use this also see leaves in between you can do the changes of the colors and you can just click anywhere and this kind of leaves you will be you will be able to see so you can try some other brushes also all are very interesting many styles are there like this watercolor splatter fine drops suppose i am just trying this i'll change the color see like this scattering of air drops so you are free to use anywhere and you even you can do the selection and then after selecting you can just use the color there for example i'm taking one new layer and in new layer suppose i am taking the rectangle i am making one rectangle now if i want to do the coloring here in the rectangle so it's very simple you select the brush tool and from here suppose air brush i want to use now this one i'll use air brush soft high density and then now i want to use the color here so you could see you can color it like this because already selection is been made so you have not to worry that the color will go outside you can increase the size of the brush 
and then you can easily color it so nice effects you can use uh, while selection so any um, picture you want to select and then you want to change the color so in this way you can do firstly select that picture or make a shape and then you can use this color technique with the brush so i hope uh, this concept is very much clear to you how to use the brush tool okay uh, along with this the pencil tool is also there if you use this pencil tool so it is having less options means it will work like a pencil just simple strokes it will give i'll just like this it is here also options are there but it will give the look as a pencil rest of the options are same but i prefer to use brush tool a lot but the option is there so you can use this okay and along with there now pencil tool color replacement tool you can use this tool also and suppose i am using yellow color and now i want to use so you could see wherever that color was there now it is changing that color with the color replacement tool now if you want to change uh, any part of the image its color you want to change so this tool can be very beneficial now suppose this stroke i want to change the color of this this was by default it's not pink so i am using suppose green color and now if i am i want to change see it's very easily changed now suppose i have taken some another image and i want to use color replacement tool here so this can be very beneficial here so firstly i'll do the selection and for the selection you very well i can use quick selection tool or magic wand tool so firstly i'll try quick selection tool and then i'll try to select okay so it's been selected only this part so i'll press alt key so do deselect this part okay i'll not go in that much depth now if i want to use the tool i have already made the selection now i want to change the color so with this color replacement tool it will be very beneficial suppose i'm using this color replacement and uh, like suppose green is been selected i want to increase the brush size and then i want to change so you could see it's too easy it has changed the color now i'll deselect the changes is been done i hope now this tool is also clear to you brush tool pencil tool color replacement tool now mixer brush tool so students about the mixer brush tool for regarding this tool i have to make special tutorial because it's not possible here uh, with this pick to cover this mixer brush tool so for covering mixer brush tool i'll make some separate tutorial now with this i'll close my tutorial if you like my explanation then please do like share and comment and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe okay bye bye take care meet you soon with the new tutorial